Well, today is that time of the month for guitar study, so let's just dive into the guitar study. All right, so this is in the key of E, which is a really good key for guitar. Anytime you got those open notes, it's, it's definitely going to help out uh, these open strings here. So let's just see what I'm feeling like today. So I'm looking for a motive. I think I got an idea. So we'll start off. That's way too low. So root, third, fifth of the chord. There's a little bit of finger twister there. And for some reason, this feels good twice. And, uh, you know, once again, I, I talk about, you know, going when you're, when you're you know, composing, going with your first instincts. So it, it's going to probably be every other one. I'll change, change it up a little bit. And I feel like... It's a little finger twisty, but that's one of the points of the A tutor studies that work on stuff you can't do. I think I like that better. So I'm going to that B. Really. You know what? Let's walk this thing. Walk that bass note out there. Okay. two chord there. Okay, I'll play around with that a little bit. We're going to have that little walking bass line. Sometimes it's kind of nice to give that a little bit of a, give that a little bit of something to do there.
think on this one. But that's the challenge. Well, let's walk that walk that up to A. So they kind of have like a rule after you do something three times, go do something else. Well, I did four times there. But you know, when you're walking up a bass line, going in on, on here. A lot of times when you go to the octave, it kind of kills the momentum a little bit, but... But I feel like guitar is sometimes it's a little bit different, because the guitar is a little bit different animal. I'm gonna do something a little bit different here, I think. This is what it, this is what I'm looking like to me. And in there. See how, that, see how that feels. I don't hate it. It's okay. I 
I'm going to live with it for right now. I, I, it's, 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 it works. It functionally it works. And again, when you're under a time time constraint, sometimes you just got to roll on. If you're not in the habit of saving, I save all the time. I go back to the old days when the computers would crash a little bit more. And sometimes these uh, times of the day, some of the music software is sometimes a little bit buggy. I said before, sometimes hanging on the same note is just kind of lame. Um, but sometimes in context, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Since I got my beard, I kind of do that with my nose, rubbing my mustache here. And this is really counterpoint in a lot of ways because I'm outlining I'm outlining chords. sense there. And whenever I use the fifth, to me it's a that's another kind of neutral sound because you know you can kind of feel like it was major or minor, so there's some good parts to that.
next to the C section, the third section in here. That's where my instinct's taking me. I'm going to go with it. Sometimes you get to a musical dead end sometimes, but I'm not going to give up yet. Sometimes, sometimes less is way more, and that's a, an important part of composing as well. Is that I think I think a lot of times people, young composers especially, they think they got to do everything perfectly, you know, uh, right away, and you can have some time to breathe with a, with a composition. You can. You can go somewhere and try some things out. And also, I think one thing also with a lot of young composers right now, I don't hear a lot of chances. They don't, they, they, they don't take chances. They don't try to write themselves into a box. You know, they, they want to play things safe, and that's okay. A lot of that has to do with an experience. And you know, does it sound a little trite? Is that something people can understand? The only thing is, I gotta get out of this box, though. So. And I just got out of the box that way. And sometimes it's kind of fun to just move one note at a time. I'm not so sure if I'm going to go that route, but I'll pencil it in for right now. Because now the logical thing is just go up to A. Then the next logical thing is go up to B. Break your guitar while you do this. 
Somehow I got off one, but that's why they made. And I have a feeling to do something different from there. I did now. That's kind of cute. All right, that's kind of cute. Keep that drone going. where we started. I don't hate it. It's, it's not... Yeah. 
And in music, don't play what you think you see, play what you see. So sometimes you get into these little finger ruts where you're like, okay, I'm going on this route. Oh, well, I'm not. And then you're, you're off the track a little bit there. So yeah, always play what you see, not what you think you see. And that makes life a lot easier for everybody. See, when you go backwards, go up and then go back to it, it kind of moves, it, it ruins the forward motion. Sometimes you don't want to do that either. Okay. I'll go with it. We'll see where we're going. Kind of had a little Jaws motive going for a while there. to another whole place makes it better. There's those fifths again. Center of that cadence pretty good. So let's play that last part there. Not as melodic as I usually do in that little this little fourth section, um, but you know. Put it together. All right, so that's about 30. A uh, little bit of something going on there. All right. So I have to scroll up and down a little bit, but that's okay. You all know the deal. You all seen these for the last couple of months. I got some good responses for, for doing these.
bad. Not bad. Not bad. So uh, once again, I uh, wrote a guitar study right there in you know, 40 some odd minutes and whatnot. Again, my playthrough wasn't perfect. There's a little finger twisters in there, so I'll have to spend some time and practice on it. So once again, thank you so much for uh, listening to me uh, talking about composition. If you got interested in writing for guitar, knowing how to play guitar definitely helps out tremendously. So this is one of the instruments that you almost got to play to understand how to write for it. Uh, it's similar to the same thing for, for like string instruments, violins, if you know about bowing. You know, until I played violin, it was really hard to write for violin and whatnot. So uh, kind of the Hindemith school is that if you want to learn how to play, write a sonata for clarinet, learn how to play the clarinet. So as always, rock and roll, of course it does compute. If you like this type of amazing content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because that would totally compute. Computed. Mm -hmm.